Welcome to our oil drip. Today we've got um, some information we're going to share about the emotional side of essential oils. So before we do that, I want you to think about something. There must be something that you do and it causes you to get flustered or just feel completely out of your element, but every now and then you have to do the thing even though you may not want to or uh, makes you feel uncomfortable. What is it? What What is the thing that makes you feel this way? I'm going to share mine in a little bit once Linda is able to connect with us on here. And I'm also going to share um, an oil that might help you when you feel like you're in a um, one of those uncomfortable situations. So an oil that will help you emotionally find your center, find your confidence, and allow you to get whatever it is you need to get done, done or accomplished. So I hope um, everyone has been enjoying um, the wonderful weather and sunshine that we've had this entire week. It's been um, very nice, not super warm, but, but very nice to um, sit inside and look out, look out at. Flowers are all in bloom and um, it just it's so pretty outside. So I hope everybody's had a chance to enjoy um, nature and the nice array of colors that they have for us right now. So um, as we're waiting for Linda, today um, both of us are going to talk about one oil in particular that we really like and um, that we would like to share more of the emotional side of that oil, how it can affect our emotions and what it's known for. I um, believe that every single oil actually has some sort of emotional benefit. So if you do some research on your own, you will find that every oil out there has a um, benefit emotionally. All right. Linda looks like she's jumping on here. Hey, Linda. Hi. <laughs> How's it going today? It's going great. Good. Yeah. Getting some things accomplished. Oh, that's good. Is there, is there an oil that you use to help you get things off of your, your list? Um, well, um, Sometimes I I have right there by the dresser um, adaptive, and I I put that on just as a like okay let's chill out and get going <laughs> and get at that list and not um, uh, not be con too, too concerned but hey let's get with it so so that good. one sometimes is there on my dresser. Very good. So, Helps you focus yeah. and stay on task. Definitely, definitely. Well, good. Well, um, when when Linda and I both decided we were going to talk about emotional oils today, I was like, "Well, let me know what oil you choose." And guess what? We both chose the same oil. So <laughs> go figure. <laughs> definitely. So, yep. So Linda told me I could go ahead with the oil. So I've got that oil and then um, her oil that she chose as well. Um, I just thought of something very crazy. Have you ever had something fall down into your garbage disposal and not know it was there and turn on uh, the garbage disposal and then you hear the clinking and you're like, oh no, like it's a spoon or something. <laughs> yes. <laughs> this just happened this week. And oh. guess what it was? Oh. An oil bottle? Yes! Who would let that fall down in there and not be like, hey, mom, there's an oil in the sink. No, they just left it. Oh, oh my gosh. Yeah. And it was open? It wasn't open, but it kind of chewed up the um, the lid a little bit, the cap a little bit, and I could yeah. it was lime. So I could smell lime coming out of the um, mm -hmm. garbage disposal, too. But it, it didn't break it up, thank goodness. So anyhow, <laughs> if you ever <laughs> have an oil fall down into the garbage disposal, um, 
it, it could go okay. I was worried that yeah. it was going to, um, I mean, what if it had like crushed it and I put my hand down and all that glass? Oh, right. Yes. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, usually if it crushed it, I don't think it'd be working. <laughs> That's the one <laughs> thing. Um, I've had girls um, ruin a couple of um, disposals because once baking cookies, the, the um, mixer, yeah, whatever, you know. The blades, like the, you know, that you mix okay. with, got got down in there. The beaters were down in there. Oh, it's like okay, no. <laughs> that disposal had it. So if your disposal oh. is still working, you are good. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. I, I, I that story came to mind because um, as I was looking through and looking up stuff for grapefruit, my chosen. Um, oil, I, I, lime kept also popping up as being an emotional oil, and I was like, that lime <laughs> fell down the drain. So anyhow, that's why that story popped into my mind. I thought I would share it with y'all. Yeah, you know. So what oil did you decide well, on? Well, you know, um, we, we, and I could tell you stories later, but um, I, I thought, okay, since we chose the same one, um, because that just had happened. Um, I thought, okay, now, but I was thinking I was going to choose two anyway, so I'm not sure why. But anyway, I thought, you know, last week we talked about um, Weed Be Gone, and we talked about, um, uh, we also talked about Terra Shield, which is a um, repellent blend. And so this week, um, I had actually, you know, taken the repellent blend that I had referred to about the, the fly spray for horses, mm -hmm. and I actually made a bottle of that, and and I actually took it to my friend, and so I am anxiously, anxiously awaiting to see, okay, how has that worked on her, on her horses, you know, and so I thought, okay. You know, I just think of the repellent blend and all that as, okay, that's, get those bugs off of me. <laughs> and so I thought, well, what would be the emotional um, effects of, of Terra Shield um, and, you know, and that, that repellent blend? Because I don't really think of it as having an emotional effect. But um, I found out some interesting things um, because I thought, oh, um, first of all, what it has in it, when you think about what it has in it, it has citronella and it has lemongrass and lime and peppermint and geranium, cedar wood. So it has all of those in it that um, a lot of them, like think of a cedar chest, that's, mm -hmm. the, you know, um, that has in it for, from back ancient Bible times to now, if I have a cedar chest, I know that that's a place where um, bugs aren't, aren't supposed to get in there and I can store um, linens and that type of thing. So cedar wood, great, you know, so I think of it as repellent, but what about the, the um, you know, other than being an insect repellent for what it's for, you know, but it offers a lot more. And so, um, one of the things, I have um, a middle daughter who a, a bug comes and she screams like, uh, <laughs> you know, you're like, where did you come from? You know, <laughs> just because of bugs. But um, this is a blend that can actually help you stay calm in the face of danger or attack. Oh. And so think about it. Think about that. Is yeah. that okay? Um, if that's the case, you know, people that are deathly afraid of bugs. Um, I mean, I guess I grew up in a farm and there are bugs. And so, okay. Mm -hmm. But there are people who they are afraid of them. And, and I thought, oh, yeah, calm in the face of danger. And I thought, well, even um, a horse when, uh, you know, those big horse flies bite mm -hmm. and they're awful, you know, um, it has you know, the ability to calm in the face of danger or attack. And um, so I thought, oh, okay, that makes sense. So then it also blends, um, it strengthens the protective shield around one's body, keeping them safe. 
And so if that is a protective shield around me and I feel safe, that's really important. It's for, important for children and adults. And, um, you know, it just very powerful. And so um, the other thing I found out is that while um, sometimes there are boundaries that are often unintentional and, um, you know, you, for instance, um, I remember one time um, Joshua, our grandson, was out uh, trimming bushes for us and he ran into um, a hornet's nest. There was those little knobby things that it attached themselves. I was like, oh my goodness, he took off running. But I thought, oh, you know, um, there were boundaries. He got in um, where he didn't know though that those insects were there and but he got into their boundaries and you know changed the boundary thing and targeted him and attacked him and you know um that outdoor blend actually teaches us to, to hold our boundaries strong and not allow ourselves to be pushed around um and it gives us courage and confidence to stand up for ourselves and face those attackers, ah. <laughs> you know. Um, so, so a lot of things. And um, when I looked at the individual um, oils, you know, lemongrass is a powerful cleanser um, of energy and, and, and several of them, there was like, okay, it clears negativity. And I'm like, oh, all of those things that go into that outdoor blend, which um, that repellent blend, Terra Shield, and it's on sale for two more days um, <laughs> um, that actually um, have are also powerful in our emotional lives. And, and it's called the oil of shielding. Hmm, so, okay. Interesting. Yeah. So that was just what one. I was, I was looking up and I thought I'm, I might as well find out a little bit more. <laughs> so. Well, um, kind of along those lines, I, I started off um, the video while you were jumping on asking people if they had anything in their life that sometimes they have to do that they're not comfortable with, that kind of pushes them outside their comfort zone, but they still have to do the thing. So finding an oil that would help them do whatever the thing is. So, so I was going to share what my thing is. So everybody thinks I'm completely ridiculous when it comes to this. I hate it. I, I don't like it at all. And if I were to have grapefruit with me, it would give me the, um, I don't know, the confidence or the um, ability to calm down and not let it bother me as much. It says um, grapefruit, grapefruit guides you to make the best decisions that are nourishing to your body, mind, and spirit. So I absolutely hate ordering food. I can't stand going to a restaurant and looking at the menu and then the waitress coming up and being like, do you, have, do you need more time? I always need more time. <laughs> I, don't, I don't come here very often. This is, this is a lot of pressure to choose exactly the meal that I really want to eat and I, I, I guess I need more time and driving through a drive through and ordering off the menu because it, we don't eat a lot at, at um, fast food restaurants, but when we do, everyone in my family likes to order off of the secret menu. What secret menu? I didn't know anything about secret menus. So it's not going to be on the board. I'm not going to be able to see it and like actually like be able to tell them. <laughs> so I'm like, I, you know, to completely out of my comfort zone, all these secret menu things, like you can go to Starbucks and there's secret menu things. You can go to, um, oh, the other uh, chicken restaurant. We don't have it in our area, but they have it. Chick-fil-A. Chick -A. Secret menu things at Chick-fil-A. So I, I do not like that, that you can do that completely stresses me out so I'm thinking maybe on those days when I have to go over and and be the one that places the orders I might 
put a little grapefruit in my water and drink that as I'm, I'm sitting there and um, getting prepared for that. So <laughs> whether it's <laughs> bugs that make you anxious or ordering off of menus, whatever it is, I just feel like when you show up at a restaurant and you're sitting there and it's time to order, it's almost like you have to deliver a speech, but you didn't prepare because you didn't know what the speech was going to be. And, and you're on a time limit and you got to hurry up and make it. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, that's my, that, that's good. That's my <laughs> secret thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, <laughs> you know, I, I was going to share about grapefruit too. And um, because Monday I was cleaning and after I cleaned the diffusers, I thought, I'm just going to put grapefruit in here. I need this today. <laughs> and I don't know. So I'm like, okay. And, but you know, I always like that when we do the breast detox, um, mm -hmm. that is one of them in there that just, I just love. And so I thought, yeah, I've got, you know, find out more about that, but I do too. So I, I love it too. So I'm wondering when you, when you and I went out to eat at the rusty bucket, did you have, grapefruit then <laughs> no I didn't I, I hadn't made that connection so but but the other side to that is that if I've been to the restaurant before and I like the food I ate oh it's easy then because I'm just gonna order the same thing every time I go mm -hmm. it'll be exactly the same thing so <laughs> that helps me yeah. get through that yeah That's well another um Along the lines of the um, the breast detox, that's one of those um, challenges where we're we're taking the time to do something for ourselves, sort of a self care. And grapefruit is one of the oils that helps promote self care. It um, it helps you prioritize your personal needs, especially those regarding better health and personal growth. And that was pretty neat. I, for years, when we had um, our original tubes that our hand and body lotion came in, it had a, a larger opening on it. And I would always, when I got it, put grapefruit in it as my oil to um, have an aroma in that lotion because it comes unscented. Oh, okay. mm -hmm. So it was always like a pretty, you know, smell you were putting on. You were pampering yourself. But then it has lots of really wonderful benefits for the skin, too. So I was doing both things without knowing those emotional benefits behind it. And one other thing that I found in here about grapefruit that I um, is still along the same lines, but grapefruit teaches you to respect your body by giving it what it needs. This may mean taking a nap exercising, getting a massage, or anything that nourishes your body and soul. And it gently teaches you that you deserve to take care of yourself without feeling guilty. So all of those are great reasons to um, use grapefruit, whether putting it on topically, diffusing it, like you mentioned, or um, drinking it internally. You can do all of those with this oil. And I thought I would, um, after the video, I thought I would drop into the post below the video. Um, I, I have a recipe here for a um, roller bottle blend of, which is called I Love Myself. So I thought I would share that one, which has yeah. the grapefruit in it. Yeah, sounds good. Yeah. And, and um, I did mention this before you got on, too. Every, every single oil has some sort of emotional benefit. Mm -hmm. And when you smell them, that aroma just, it triggers something in your mind and either, you know, helps you relax, you focus, whatever the emotion is that you need, it, it'll, your body just will grasp onto that and um, help you receive what you need that day. So they're pretty amazing. These oils are, are very well designed for our bodies. Very well. <laughs> All right. Well, um, if, if anyone hasn't already seen it, we do have our next um, oil experience coming up in May, which is our 
Happy Hormone Challenge. So we've talked about that. So if you haven't had a chance to go in and register for that, um, there's still time. It starts on May 9th. So you still have, been, have up until May 8th to get registered and make sure you have all of the um, oils and products that we're going to be using throughout that experience. All right. Well, everyone have a great weekend and we will talk to you again next week. Okay. Looking forward to it. Mm -hmm.